Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am doing my January roster reveal. I do apologise because this is going to come out late, it's probably going to cut into January, well it, it will cut into January by the time I bring it out. First of all, I've got no makeup on, it's just, guys, I can't even explain how busy I am lately, I feel like I'm here, there, everywhere trying to have a social life, trying to get to work, trying to go between my dad's house, Birmingham, London. I just feel like I am clutching at straws. I'm literally everywhere and I feel exhausted. So this is what we're doing. I'm actually in Johannesburg right now filming this. I thought, listen, I've got a little time slot, a little gap before I've got to go do something. So I'm just going to quickly film this. So I'm going to change it from how I did it last time. I spoke with BA just to see how the videos were and how they, if it was all alright and they just said to take the times and the dates out. So I'm going to tell you my roster but I can't tell you like report times or days that I'm there. So it's probably going to be a bit shorter and a little bit different. But anyway, also what the hell is this on my nose? It just started coming on on the flight. Start of the flight, I was fine, makeup did, hair did, you know how it is. And then all of a sudden, just this like new planet started forming on my nose and I was like, this isn't the one. This is not the one, but anyway. So before I get on with the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. It is just Jessica Jessica X. Also, if this video goes out before my December vlog, cabin crew vlog, I'm in Joburg and we're doing bits, okay? We're doing bits on this trip, so I'm hoping it's going to be a really good vlog. But anyway, so let me tell you where I am going in January. First of all, what I did bid for in January. So I bidded for five-day Bahamas and I also bidded for a four-day Amman. So I've done Bahamas before. Absolutely love the Bahamas. I'm not too sure why I bidded for Bahamas, to be honest, because I ha we've got like Maldives and Barbados two places I've never been. So I don't really know why I bidded for those in particular, but anyway, I bidded for that. And then I bidded for a four day Amman because the one time in my life I was ever late for work was on my way to report for Amman. And I was so excited for this Amman trip. So I was so upset. I misjudged my report time or something like that. And I really wanted to go do Petra and everything like that. Even the core desk when I got to the CRC was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I was like, I know I'm literally gutted. So I bid for a four day Amman as well. So let me tell you if I got those trips. Also, just to fill you in for my last roster i had four days of availability and what i did was so i took a day off and my four days available so instead of it being a four day block it was a five day block and i filled it with joburg which is the trip i'm on now which also means basically i can be home for new years so really happy about that so i've actually got quite a bit of time off in jan as well quite a lot of like blocked days off which is really really nice so i'm off like most of the beginning of jan and then I've got a two-day Tel Aviv, which I love the Tel Aviv, short flight. You get like a drinks voucher at the hotels, so you get a free drink, the food's good. The last one I did was really good. We had so many like customer compliments. We did really well as a crew. We worked really well together. So that was really nice. And we had a fun trip. We all went out for dinner. So hopefully I can do that with the crew again, go for some dinner and, you know, maybe just have a glass of wine or something. So two day Tel Aviv. It's a shame they sort of do the two days now because they used to do, I'm going to put you down because I'm literally showing you my double chin. It's horrific. We used to do three days. We never really used to do two days. It was either three days or four days and you'd sort of have like a clear day, but obviously they do the two days now which is not a problem to me it's not a massive thing because you still get like quite a bit of time there you still get roughly like 24 hours but it's good if you want to do like jerusalem go to the holy land or go to bethlehem or i think you can go to like the dead sea as well which i've never done from israel but yeah so can't really do that and then my next trip after that is a bombay so I've never been to Bombay before. That was supposed to be three available days and I filled it with a Bombay. It's so I've never actually been to India at all. So I'm really, really excited because I feel like it will be a new experience. And coming from Birmingham, I'm obsessed with curry, Indian food. So for me, 
it's going to be fun to see like what authentic curry tastes like and authentic Indian food and you know all of that. I'm probably going to have a really bad belly by the end of it but I'm sure the food will be worth it. So I think crew, when a crew member has sent me like a to-do list, what's good there and stuff like that. So I need to have a look at that. Hopefully some crew there want to do something and yeah, do a little bit of exploring. So I'm really excited about that. And then I've got another Boston, which is amazing because I love Boston. My last Boston trip you'll see on the vlog coming up, I just, to be honest, I spent it by myself and just did some Christmas shopping by myself. I do kind of like shopping by myself, I'll be honest, because I can just go to the places I want to go to and sort of just quickly get it done and go back. So did some shopping there. So I'm probably just going to shop again. I might go to the Macy's again because the deals were amazing. So I'm um, also positioning home from Boston because I looked at it on my roster and I thought oh shall I shall I like swap off it because I've just done one and see if there's anything else interesting on a uh, crew swap I think there was like a Toronto or something like that but when I saw I didn't realize because I didn't look on our one system I only looked on our other system but our one system tells you like names of crew and like if you're positioning times and everything like that they both do but in different formats and I saw that I was positioning back and I was like oh hello thank you scheduling gods so i'm definitely going to keep that trip because i can hopefully just chill out and you know have a nice trip there back not have to worry about working back which is it's always a treat i have positioned to boston before that was fun i had a really good trip um really good crew actually in fact i need to message my friend because he was just like let's position to boston again as a joke and actually i'm positioning back so it's kind of funny but yeah, so positioning trips are always good. And they're nice short flights as well, the Bostons, to be fair. So, you know, it's not too demanding. People are really nice. And Boston is like one of my favorite states in America. It's such a lovely state. And then my next trip after that is a Lagos. And Lagos, I was thinking about maybe swapping off this trip just because I've done a Lagos recently. Although I, I do like the hotel. I really do like the hotel. and. It's quite an easy, chill trip in the sense of just eating, sitting by the pool, and the flights are not too long. But I might still think about swapping off that trip just because I have done one recently. So potentially that may change. And then I've got a six day block. I've got a there and back to Hanover. And I've just recently flown with the CSM on there actually. So that is a burn. A flight to Amsterdam and back. And then a night stop in Geneva. I think it is, yeah, Geneva. I don't think I've ever been actually. Yeah, Switzerland. I was in Switzerland the other day, but I don't think it was like proper Switz. It was the sort of border of Bau. That'd be nice. That's a new destination for me. So that's cool. I come back from Geneva. Then I've got a Frankfurt link, so just fly to Frankfurt and back. And then I've got a Newark, which is also a new destination. So actually I've got three new destinations next month, so that's fun. Um, the Newark is a three day trip. And I think you can go to like New Jersey from there, which I'm obsessed with like the Royal Housewives of New Jersey and Jersey Shore and all of that. So I feel like I would love to like go there, but I don't know if crew would be that bothered about going to somewhere like that. I know in Newark, I think the tax is really good there, so it's really good for like shopping. So we'll see, we'll see what the crew want to do, see if anyone's doing anything. But yeah, I've never been to New York at all. So I really wanted to do a JFK. I know I bidded for one in December roster and I didn't get it, which is really bizarre because we have so many flights a day and crew were always like, oh, I'm going to JFK again, like, and all of that. I really wanted to go at Christmas time, but that's fine. So I didn't get my bids, basically, again. But that's fine, because you know what? I've got a good, I feel like it's a good roster. I feel like it's new destinations, and I'm really happy with that. I have bidded for February now. February roster comes out... I think actually in about a week and a half maybe, maybe like 10 days or something. So I'm gonna try and get the February roster done as soon as it comes out because I've left this way too late. I've just been so hectic guys, like I can't even, why do my arms look like that? It looks like it's muscle on there, but it's really not, it's just fat or maybe it does look like fat. Oh, I don't know. 
<laughs> I'm just lacking a bit lately. I realised I hadn't posted in like two weeks, but I just posted a runway haul. I need to get back into the shape of things. Instagram, I've not even posted. It's terrible. I feel like I'm just really lacking. So... I need to get back into the swing of things. I've just been distracted, guys, with, like, things in my personal life and work. And, yeah, so it's fine. We all have a little blip. We're going to get back to it. But, yeah, so I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. It is just Jessica Jess gets. Bye, guys. Have a beautiful time.